Well, the fallout from Super Tuesday locally, surprises and runoffs. I'm joined by Fox 10 News senior correspondent Bob Grip, who had a front row seat to a big surprise last night. But before we get to that, Bob, uh -huh. you and I had discussed before right. everything wrapped up last night when Donald Trump would jump in with a tweet mm -hmm. and we didn't have to wait long. What I've been waiting to see, Byron, is who President Trump is going to tweet about. You know, that's going to be key because, you know, President Trump has huge numbers here in Alabama. He's very strongly approved of here. So the question is, you know, all it takes is one tweet from the president when he's in the mood to do it. And that could make or break a campaign. Have to wait very long. You were prescient. <laughs> we're going to go buy lottery tickets next, yeah. right? Well, it didn't take long before the president came out. It was this morning and gave the, the, the tweet there that Steve Alexander uh, talked about earlier. And, I mean, he really roasted oh, Jeff Sessions. In a big way, mm -hmm. you know, as did Tommy Tuberville when he spoke to his supporters, too. Right. And the thing was, when I talked to Jeff Sessions right after he announced his candidacy, he told me that he thought the president would remain neutral in this didn't last well he did for the most part but like you said as you as you mm -hmm. adroitly pointed out even before everything came down we were waiting to see when trump was going to do that and he did mm -hmm. and you it know. didn't take very long just no. a couple of hours now you were there jeff sessions headquarters and you saw firsthand jeff's reaction to trailing tommy tuberville a former football coach mm -hmm. and a political novice right and i think he was shell-shocked, as we mentioned mm. uh, last night, that I think he thought he was going to carry the area. And the, the question would be, is it going to be Tommy Tuberville or is it going to be Bradley Burns, sure. second and third? But then I took a look, a close look at the numbers, the local numbers, Mobile and Baldwin County, and I found that Bradley Byrne won both counties. Mm -hmm. it, was, it was like 52 percent to 30 percent here in Mobile County and in Baldwin County it was even wider as 56 percent to 25 percent. So you have to wonder, you know, what is he thinking now? What wow. kind of strategy does he come up with to try to counter that? Wasn't even close either no. in either county. Now, the situation has changed a little bit more because this morning Bradley Byrne came out and said, you know what? I don't think I'm going to endorse anybody at this time. That's right. I, I sent a, a, a direct message to Seth Morrow, who is his campaign manager, and I said, you know, is there any chance of an endorsement for anybody? And he wrote back to me, no endorsement expected or planned. Wow. That's pretty cut and dry right there. Right. Yeah. So let's talk Tommy Tuberville. Mm -hmm. Two years ago, he was living in Florida. Right. Now he's in Alabama and he is a bona fide Senate candidate and, mm -hmm. you know, leading a former U.S. Senator and Attorney General. Right. Well, it pays to be a football coach in the state of Alabama, <laughs> no matter if it's Auburn or, or, or Alabama. That gives you such name recognition. Oh, yeah. It's hard to overcome that. Yeah. And do you think there was a lot of anti session sentiment in those votes for Tommy Tuberville? There's a possibility of that. All right. Bob, thanks so much, as always. All right, thanks. All right, don't forget, of course, uh, our YouTube channel. Anytime you want to take a look at this story, our election coverage, or other stories you see on Fox 10, just go to the Fox 10 News YouTube channel, and you'll find videos there. And don't forget to subscribe so that you'll know when we post new videos.